Are you having a good time? The nation's first female attorney general, Janet Reno, held the job longer than anyone in more than 170 years. I, Janet Reno, do solemnly swear. President Clinton's third choice, the first two had undocumented household staff, Reno came to Washington after serving as a Miami prosecutor for 15 years. Barely a month later, she approved an FBI raid on a Texas religious cult, fearing that children were abused. 75 people were killed in a resulting fire, which the FBI determined was set by those inside. She won praise for accepting responsibility. I approved the plan and I'm responsible for it. I advised the president, but I did not advise him as to the details. During her eight years in office, crime dropped steadily, the first decline in decades. She championed drug courts and programs to keep young people off the streets. Though she appointed independent counsels nine times to investigate government figures, Republicans blasted her for declining to do so over allegations of campaign finance violations by President Clinton and Vice President Gore. We've got to do this as objectively and as carefully as possible, and that's what I'm committed to doing. But she did appoint Kenneth Starr to investigate a Clinton business deal and later expanded his authority, leading to the impeachment of President Clinton over the Monica Lewinsky scandal, ending with his acquittal in the Senate. Reno was also criticized for her role in the saga of a Cuban boy, Elian Gonzalez, who came to the U.S. in a boat with his mother, who died on the way. Reno determined that he should be given back to his Cuban father and ordered federal marshals to seize him from the home of relatives. I have no regrets whatsoever. I tried my level best to make sure that we avoided this situation. Because of her plain speaking, openness about her Parkinson's disease, and aversion to the ways of Washington, she was a popular figure. Repeatedly parodied on Saturday Night Live, she got the last laugh. It's Reno! She left Washington in 2001, saying she wanted to tour the country in a brand new pickup truck, narrowly losing Florida's Democratic primary for governor a year later, ending a life in public service that she said was dedicated to the rule of law. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.